Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we start on the introduction to chemistry, a topic that is taught in Form 1. And before we start on introducing uh, the topic, it is important to understand the chapter objectives. What is a learner required to know by the end of this chapter? Welcome. Uh, the first objective of this particular chapter uh, is to be able to define chemistry. To be able to define chemistry. Number two, uh, a student should be able to relate chemistry with the topics learned in primary science. So in primary science, uh, of course, chemistry is not offered as a subject, uh, but uh, the subject is offered broadly as science. So it is important to relate chemistry with the science that was learned at primary level. Uh, also, it is important to understand uh, the role of chemistry in the society. and its applications. How is chemistry uh, relevant uh, in the society and how it has been applied? Uh, number four, we'll also uh, describe the apparatus used in chemistry and their uses, the apparatus used in chemistry and their uses. The fifth objective, a learner should be able to operate a burns and burner And uh, finally, the learner should be able to describe the safety rules applied in the chemistry laboratory. So basically, those are the objectives that the learner uh, should uh, understand by the end of the chapter, should be able to define chemistry, relate chemistry with the topics learned in primary science, understand the role of chemistry in the society and its applications, uh, describe uh, the apparatus used in chemistry and their uses, be in a position to operate a burns and burner, and finally describe the safety rules applied in chemistry uh, laboratory. So having gone through the objectives, I uh, will start the topic from the introduction. As part of the introduction, uh, the first objective is to define uh, chemistry. And first of all, we can say that chemistry is a branch of science. It's a branch of science. And this branch deals with the study. It deals with the study 
of the structure properties and composition of matter and the changes that matter undergoes. So basically, that is the definition of chemistry. It's a branch of science uh, that deals with the study of structure, properties, and composition of matter, and the changes that matter undergoes. Now, having talked about uh, a branch of science, uh, we have other branches of science. We have uh, biology and we have physics. Those are other branches of science. And chemistry is one other branch of science. So it's good to mention that other branches of science include biology and physics. So having understood that, it's also important to understand the topics learned in primary science that apply to chemistry. There, is a, there are some topics that uh, learners have come across in uh, primary science and those topics are also applicable here. And by going through those topics, uh, they help us to understand uh, chemistry as a branch of science better. First, in primary school, uh, you learned about the properties of matter. There was a topic on properties of matter. You learned pro, uh, uh, topics such as separation of mixtures, methods of separating mixtures. You also learned about uh, pollution and of course its effects. Uh, you learned about drugs and drug abuse. So those are topics uh, that are founded uh, on chemistry. Those are topics that are taught at primary level and they are also taught uh, in chemistry. So for example, as we discuss the properties of matter, uh, we can say that uh, matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Anything that has mass and occupies space is referred to as matter. And on this, when you talk of mass, uh, mass is the quantity. Mass is the quantity of matter in a substance. It's the quantity of matter in a substance. And when you talk of uh, a sub uh, that matter occupies space, we mean that matter occupies a given volume. And we can say that uh, volume is the space occupied by matter. So basically, uh, that's about uh, uh, matter. Uh, 
in terms of the properties, uh, the properties of matter, these are things that you've learned. We know that matter exists as we have uh, solids, we have liquids, and we have gases. And these solids, liquids, and gases can be interchanged. For example, if you have a solid, and then that solid is heated, it melts into a liquid. So that is when you heat. Then if you take the liquid and then you heat it further, it changes into a gas. So further heating changes the liquid into a gas. And if we reverse that, we cool the gas, we get a liquid. And if we cool uh, the liquid, we go back to a solid. So this is uh, the relationship between the properties of matter. The relationship between the properties of matter as we can see from there. So uh, we'll have a, an assignment on this. So the assignment, the first uh, question is what is chemistry? Number two, identify four topics taught in primary science that involve chemistry. Number three, what is matter? And lastly, number four, state three properties of matter. So we'll stop there for now. We'll continue next time. Goodbye. <music>